Hey, how's it going, guys? We got big news. We got casting for four DC characters, four superheroes for the DCU, and not just for the DCU, but specifically for Superman Legacy. So, some of this is good news, but some of this also worries me, and it worries me for the exact reason why I thought I would be worried. Let's get into this right now. Let me pull up the articles. Superman Legacy cast adds Isabella Marced, Eddie Gategi, and Nathan Fillion. Dude, this guy should have played Nathan Drake, man. If you guys seen that short, that short film he put out on YouTube. All right, but this is going to be Green Lantern. This is going to be Hawk Girl, and uh, he is going to be Mister Terrific. I don't know too much about Mister Terrific. I just remember this guy from uh, that X Men movie, but. Hawk Girl. The fact that we're getting Hawk Girl gives me hope that he has watched <laughs> Justice League, the animated series, Justice League Unlimited, and he likes the animated series. And if we get the if we get the Justice League uh, animated series uh, Justice League team, I'm, I'll be happy. I'll be happy because that's a solid team. I love the dynamic in that team. I actually like that Aquaman is not a mainstay on the team. His loyalty lies with Atlantis, and he helps when he's needed. But Hawkgirl, the casting, nothing too special here. She's gonna be wearing the helmet the wings so she's going to be changed up a lot I, I i can't really say but nathan fillion as green lantern i can see that the only thing is nathan fillion i believe is like 52 years old yeah he's 52 years old so he's not going to be the main green lantern of the dcu because if they're plan the reason why i'm sure the reason why they wanted a younger superman versus henry cavill is because they want they're planning for 10 plus years okay and you don't want a 60 plus year old green lantern running around so he's going to be playing green lantern is he going to be playing hal jordan because i know in uh in the tv show the green lantern tv show we're going to be following hal jordan and john stewart here we got some clarity on which Green Lantern Nathan Fillion is going to play. Nathan, the Green Lantern show is not separate, he wrote. Who's he? James Gunn? Nathan will play Guy Gardner in all parts of the DCU. Remember, they're going to be voice acting it for the games, for the animated series, the animated movies, and playing them in live action. So Nathan Fillion is Guy Gardner for the entirety of the DCU. For all DC right now, that is not Elseworlds. The other casting news is Metamorpho. Anthony Kerrigan is going to be playing Metamorpho. Again, I don't know. I don't know anything about Metamorpho. But see, again, he, it's going to be in, he's going to be in Superman Legacy. We already knew that James Gunn likes these obscure characters. I don't. We don't have the Justice League yet. Okay, the first character of the DCU is going to be Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle, I mean, he's not an obscure... I, could you... Is Blue Beetle an obscure character? I mean, I, I guess so. I guess he's an obscure character. But uh, I feel like he's more well-known than Mr. Terrific and Metamorpho. Okay? So Blue Beetle is... But again, he's still not mainline DC, DC right? So we, our first character is, is Blue Beetle. Our first movie in the DCU is Superman Legacy. Okay? So before we have a Justice League established... We have Blue Beetle, we have Metamorpho, we have Mr. Terrific. You see what I'm going? Are these guys going to be part of the Justice League? I really hope not. Just The Justice League should not be some ragtag team of unknown heroes. This is not Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, here's, here's my issue, okay? We're getting metamorpho mr terrific we're getting all these side unknown characters casted and we don't have aquaman we don't have wonder woman we don't have flash we don't have the best superhero of all time martian manhunter um again james gunn is my best bet for a martian manhunter but why why are we getting these casting calls? Why are we getting this casting announced first? Maybe he's just getting the side characters out of the way and the heavy hitters will come in time. But that's not really my main concern for the immediate future right now. My main concern right now is that this, these castings are not just for the DCU. They're for Superman Legacy. Superman solo movie. This is our time to finally get a Superman movie to focus on Superman. And we're getting Hawkgirl. 
we're getting a Green Lantern, we're getting a Mr. Terrific, and we're getting Metamorpho. These better be the tiniest cameos of all time, okay? They better be so insignificantly small, they better be in the after credit scene, okay? I need a Superman movie, okay? I don't want... I don't, dude... I would be upset if we're getting Aquaman. If we're get, I would be upset if my if my favorite superhero played a, a decent role in a Superman Legacy. Okay, if Martian Manhunter, actually, I don't know if I'd be that upset. I, if he show had like a little cameo, I wouldn't be upset. I I, I can't I, I can't lie. But if uh, <laughs> if Batman made a sh made a showing in Superman Legacy, if uh, Aquaman made a showing. If the Flash made made an appearance in Superman Legacy, I would be upset. Okay, because we need a solo Superman movie. Why are these guys in Superman Legacy? That's what I want to know. Okay, I don't want James Gunn to get so fixated on all these really obscure characters and think that's hey, that's so cool, that's really cool. Whoa, I just found out about this really cool character and I really like him. I'm, I wanted to put my own twist and take on the character and bring it to the big screen. I don't want that. I want a proper classic take on the Superman story, on the character of Superman. And that seems to be the direction we're going. That's what David Cornsweet said. That's what he wants to bring to the screen. He wants a classic traditional take on the character. Going back to the classics, to Christopher Reeves, that's what he wants, okay? And that's what the casting looks like. David Cornsweet looks like he can pull off a classic Superman, okay? Uh, who the lowest slain? Rachel Brosnahan? Um, I think that's her first name. She looks like she can pull off a classic Lois Lane. So it looks like we're going we're going back to those traditional roots. So why are we getting? In my opinion, this feels like a distraction. If he is not just some, if he's not just some after credit scene. It's a distraction. And even as an after credit scene, I don't care. I don't care to see Metamorpho in the after credit scene building up to something. I don't care if he if he's on a newspaper clipping. If Mr. Terrific, if Hawkgirl is on a newspaper clipping that uh, the Daily Planet is writing. I don't really care, to be honest. Let's if you want to do it, lead up to the Justice League or something. You know what I mean? That was my worry, man. That James Gunn is going to be so fixated on these obscure characters and bringing these characters to light because they're sort of like blank slates. Not many people know about them. We don't have movies. We don't see them on screen in TV shows or anything. So they're blank slates. Directors can bring their unique take and put that to the forefront with these characters because not many people know about them. And he did hint at that when he was talking about the initial slate, that he wants the director's vision, he wants to see their unique take on screen. I knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique and something special. And that's, that is my worry. Regarding the casting, not bad. I don't, uh, yeah, that's fine. The casting of these are fine. I have no problem with the casting. It's just that, why are we being introduced to these characters already? Why are we being, why are we being introduced to these characters in Superman Legacy? That, that is where my worry comes in, okay? But uh, let me know your thoughts down below about the casting. What do you guys think about these characters being featured in Superman Legacy already? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.